them back. So here we go. Got the Creighton Outcast. Actually, it's not a Creighton. It's an Outcast 8S. Both my Creightons are over there. That's the original Creighton. It's got the Coke can motor in it. The orange and white and black. And then the green and black is the 1.5 version with the extra bracing and the better radio. And now we have another Arma Outcast 8S which is not to be confused with the 6S because this thing is outrageously big. Now, I am going to do a comparison uh, between all the Outcast that I have because I believe I have four of them now. So, um, it's not a unboxing, it's just my initial thoughts. Um, so I have taken it out of the box already. And we're gonna get this awesome body. Wow. That's, that's all I can say with this paint. Um, this color is one of my favorite colors. Uh, if you guys ever saw my M3. Um, red is uh, definitely uh, one of my favorites and this red metallic oof, this thing is uh, definitely pretty I do like the new wing with the uh, bolts on top that scrape I guess when it flips upside down it will literally shoot sparks all across this thing it's got bolts all along the top here you can also add more bolts which is cool and then uh, bolts here god that one looks like it's uh, sticking up pretty high I wonder if uh, that one's too big let me uh, check that bolt because that back one looks awfully high actually they all look pretty high well I'll check all the nuts and bolts later but uh, I want to get to cracking this thing open so look at that body guys wow there we go reinforcement braces just looking this thing over and uh, yeah I think we're gonna have to do uh, everything we can for this body so it doesn't get damaged so I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer so we can take a look at the inside which I'm sure you guys have seen most of this stuff so here we go definitely the double bracing is a cool feature for this upper brace and you gotta take in that new plastic smell so antenna's not bent that's kind of weird oh these feel like uh like solid copper wire on the inside of this thing now well now that we have that body off here's the Creighton body See how this thing fits on here. There we go, guys. We have got our first. Well, that body looks like it fits pretty good. What do you guys think? Looking pretty good. Think we can bash with this body. Bumper fits really nice with uh with this bumper on it definitely gonna have to get one of these uh, bumpers for or two of them for my outcast um, but yeah you can actually probably use this body what I would do is is probably raise up this wing just a touch 
and the body will sit right underneath it. Yeah, because it clips into the front fine, just not the back. So it literally clips into the front, so the changes to the RC are definitely on the back end. Getting some, uh, some dirt inside my uh, swivel. This thing's kind of heavy. So yeah. Cretin body fits in. Let's see how short it is on the Cretin. Oh, I see. So the rear of this body, the front fits fine. That's funny, guys. Take a look at the body on the Creighton. So, this body fits perfect up into the shock towers. You gotta fold this in a little bit, but I think if you take the Creighton or the Outcast rear mount, because this these holes are a lot wider than the Creighton. The Creighton's in a little bit. So, yeah. Drill a couple holes, one there and one there. That uh, Outcast body will fit on your Creighton 8S and look pretty darn good. Take a look at that. With the Creighton wing. Oh, yeah. And uh, look at that. Haven't seen that comparison yet. So, Creighton body. So the bodies, uh, I think you can make work. If you're uh, liking that longer chassis, but you're digging the shorter body, the outcast body, because this is a nice body. So if you're digging this body, let me see if I can find these mounts. So you gotta set the back end first, so it is a little longer and does sit underneath it. So for you guys that uh, are out there that uh, that have the Creighton 8S, but you're looking for this body, I would definitely, uh, this body will definitely work on the Creighton 8S. So you could have an outcast body on your Creighton 8S, fit in there really nicely. A lot better than the Creighton fitting on the Outcast because of the wing. So I think uh, even if you did uh, the Outcast wing and put that on the Creighton, I bet you you can put the wing, the wheelie bar, and this body all onto the Creighton uh, 8S chassis, and you'll have yourself one sick, stable Creighton 8S. So I'm going to look at uh, doing that and putting this body onto the Coke can motor right here. Let's pop this off. So there we go, guys. What do you think? So M2C chassis with a coke can motor with the 2028 coke can motor big gearing with a mamba monster x 8s esc and uh it is censored this is the new censored system castle fans so what do you guys think about uh this system in the outcast should we do it I say yes. I say we uh, we kick it off with a coke cam motor. So, and uh, maybe take that one and go ahead and get us an outcast body and wing as soon as they're available, and uh, get them onto my fully custom Creighton 8S. Yeah, I've got a little illness here with uh, 
with three fifth scale armas you got to have them all i literally have all the outcast successes i have the 10th anniversary edition i have the notorious i have the orange outcast i have the 4s outcast which by the way your boy has converted to 6s um with all metal diffs so if you uh want to check out that video it's on my channel but i've been hearing people having uh issues with uh with these oh my diff is leaking what the heck the whole left hand side of mine is soaked in fluid right when I was getting excited too so I'm gonna drop you guys down and uh, we're gonna take a look at and see where all this fluid is coming from because you guys aren't gonna believe what I just found yep that is soaked literally soaked from the shock bet nobody's checking this because they could be because these have been shipped it could have been sitting in the box upside down so i want you guys to see what i'm seeing so right here you see all this shininess see this oil on my finger watch no oil on this finger look at that guys soaked and this shock is covered in oil now this shock is not so i have a feeling and this whole control arm right here is literally covered in shock oil everywhere so literally out of the box i have a feeling that shock shaft or that shock cap is leaking Quality control, boys. Got an EXB sitting in the garage, broken too. Well, not broken, because I've had to make all kinds of fixes. But wow. Yep, here we go again. So this side, I don't know if you guys can see, but this shock shaft is literally covered and leaking as well. So right in here, if you look at my diff cup, my diff cup is covered in oil. And that shock also is leaking. So I am dealing with a 4S outcast problem. Because our 3S and 4S line had leaky shock caps too. This one, covered in oil. This whole cap is literally covered in oil. Now I'm gonna show you guys something. Take a look at this. See all this oil right here? See all this oil right here? This is, yep, outcast. my 4S that I converted to 6S. And this thing, literally out of the box, has, uh, has been leaking. Look at those shocks. The front aren't as bad as my rears, but you can tell And, you know, everybody's like, you know, oh, it's just a leaky shock. You know, take them back apart, throw this O-ring, this fix for it, this fix for it. There's a bunch of fixes for it. So you don't end up with oily arms. And believe me, guys, I didn't realize that my Outcast 4S was doing it either. Um, 
because I literally pulled, checked my Sentin, checked my Creighton, checked everything, and it happened to be my 4S Outcast that's converted to 6S. And I haven't run this thing much. I've done more work on this than I have running it because the first time I took it out on 4S, it overheated and had to buy a fan for the motor. So I bought a fan, put it back on, and then it did halfway decent. I actually enjoyed the RC. And uh, so two rips on uh, on at the park on grass and uh, put it up on the shelf. And I took it down to do this conversion and found the shocks leaking. So topped them off, put some uh, slime around the seals, put it back together, and still leaking. And then I get my 8S right out of the box, and what do I see? Look, a trail. Here, this one, this control arm. Look pretty decent. So then I come over to the front one, and I'm like, ah, let me take a look. So I lift up this gorgeous body and look at how shiny that uh, cup is. Here's my fingers. Look how they're dry. Watch this. Look how oily that thing is. Look how, you can see the oil all inside this thing. And this is this is actually feels like dip fluid. But then I'm looking at the top. It's so sticky down here. Look at how it wipes. It's literally wiping like, uh, and it's real sticky and tacky. See that? See how it leaves my thumb, my fingerprint and goes away? That's 100% diff oil. So that diff is leaking there, but that caught my eye. Got me looking up and the whole shock cap is wet. You know, and this shock cap soaked, all wet. Look at how my fingers are all oily. This is literally all wet from that shock oil. This side, not bad. I don't see uh, I don't see diff oil on this. It's got a little bit, but I think that's see how my fingerprint stays there. That's left over from the other side because that was the finger I used on the other side. Let me switch hands. No print. Dry, feels good. That, shiny. Can you tell the difference from here? Look at that. That's diff fluid. My front diff is leaking. Shocks, three out of the four shocks soaked. Okay. That one's that one's wet. It's just covered in shock oil. But that's ridiculous, guys. Truly, truly is ridiculous. So I got a brand new RC again. Kind of like my EXB. You know, brand new RC. It's gonna be broken and down. I haven't even run this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing now. Cause I, at this point, I honestly feel like throwing this lid back on, taking this back to the hobby store and asking for my thousand dollars back after I waited for this thing for a couple months. So maybe I'm a little sour now, uh, but let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? What should I do with this? I got a diff leaking. I've got three out of the four shocks leaking. And that's just looking at over it real quick, because if you heard the first part of this video, 
I was pretty happy. I was happy to get it, happy to unbox it. But am I going to end up with another one of these that's sitting on my shelf that I don't want to run because every time I got to take it out, I got to fill these shocks up or find a replacement and replace all the shocks? I mean, I've already got $1,000 into this thing, and it's only a 4S Outcast. Yeah, I got metal diffs, metal gears, metal everything in this thing. So, it's horrible, guys. But there we go. Just wanted to express that. So, but please, let me know down in the comments, what would you do with an RC with leaky diffs and leaky shocks right out of the box? Not everyone would catch it, but I did. So, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. And quality control. Those shocks didn't seal up. It looks like the box was sitting upside down and all these shock caps are leaking because there is a bleed screw right here, but that's a one-way um, bleed. And when you tighten that down, you can see the O-ring in there it's supposed to seal it up. This thing is literally leaking from three out of the four shocks. Or do I stand corrected? So this shock cap and shock is dry. And these are things people don't notice. They'll grab this RC, see all the shiny stuff. God, even this whole motor mount is covered in oil. Our motor mount, this shock mount. The front one's not. But that rear one is literally covered in fluid. And that control arm, this is what caught me. Look at the puddle inside there on that control arm. Look at the puddle of oil in there. Right there is covered in oil. So I've got me another brand new RC that I waited extra for because they forgot to ship it. And everything is soaked in oil. So now I get to spend two hours on the phone with Arma tomorrow. God, that's terrible. So I get to spend two hours on the phone with Arma explaining that all my shocks are leaking. Man, I'm already disappointed, guys. And the Outcast, this is beautiful. This thing is beautiful. The Outcast is one of my favorite RCs. Creighton got me started. But the Outcast, that's why I have every Outcast there is. I literally love the trick trucks because I'm not into flying high and flying stable and flying long distances. I'm literally love, God, I got oil all over it. I literally love getting up in the air, doing some backflips like I know what I'm talking about, you know, doing some standing backflips, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to cut the video here because... I'm a little hot because I thought this was going to be an awesome unboxing and that I was going to be able to just throw my batteries in it, grab the new remote that's in this box, and go rip an ARM RC right out of the box. But apparently, I'm going to have to wrench on this um, before I even get a chance to run it. So let me know what you guys think about it. Arma's last few releases. Yeah, they're dropping bombs, but I got some things to say about the felony as well, and you guys are going to catch that video as well, because I saw some things, I saw some things I think you guys should know about. So, the way I look at RCs is a little different. I look at them, being a mechanic, um, I'm looking at the mechanical aspect. I'm not looking at the wow factor, and the wow factor is, this thing is gorgeous. These tires are awesome. The size of it is, ooh, on point. Let's throw some batteries in it and go rip it. Me, when I crack the lid like this, 
what am I looking at? I'm looking at, hey, is there any loose bolts? Uh, anything falling apart? Anything get overlooked when they were putting this RC together? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking sure, make sure that during shipping, nothing got damaged. I'm looking for damage on the wing. I'm looking for ESC wires that aren't plugged in or a wire that got ripped out. Or Because remember, I've already had one of these ESCs fail. So, actually it wasn't this ESC. It was the ones that were in the Creighton 8S's. Which I believe is the same one as this. So... When I'm looking at this stuff, I'm looking for broken straps or broken this or broken that. And, and not only am I looking for broken, because don't think about I'm just looking at it to be pessimistic. I'm looking at it because I'm a mechanic and I'm used to looking at my car. Is my tire flat? Is my window cracked? Do I have a new door ding? Every time I walk up to my own car, guys. And uh, that way when you're driving down the road things aren't falling off and you're not crashing causing more damage so when i'm looking at a brand new rc this is the stuff i'm looking for are the diffs leaking is everything attached right did uh did something get overlooked and to see three of my shocks leaking literally one two three actually this shock is leaking so this one's the one that's decent. It's still moist, but it's not soaked anywhere. This one's soaked, this one's soaked, and this one's soaked. And what caught my attention is this rear one. I literally thought, seeing this trail of oil down here, that the diff was leaking. Or some fluid from the diff. I didn't even think about how much oil these shocks hold and how much it's now filled up this RC. So, there we go, guys. There is my unboxing. So, am I the one with bad luck? EXB broken. Shipped wrong, right out of the box. Diff issue. Outcast. Another issue. Creighton 8S, right out of the box. Bent the chassis. Another issue. By the 1.5, paid a lot more for that even though they're the same price. And I keep pouring money into them, and I keep fixing them because I'm an enthusiast. So, um, sat on the phone, you know, for hours, just waiting for Arma to pick up so they can send me a $7 diff to get my ESB going. But I'm not going to sound so bitter now. Um, just want to let you know, that's why I discovered I am now going to check this whole RC. I'm not going to trust Arma in this. Um, that they assembled the truck I paid another thousand dollars for that I can't run because it's leaking everywhere um, Because with these shocks leaks leaking when I jump guess what that shocks gonna bottom out now because it's leaking on Three of the caps and I bet you that's why people are bending shock shafts is because the fluids not in there and nobody caught it out of the box But I could be a one-off, but I doubt it I bet you if you guys start looking closely, you'll see it too. But there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about these leaky shocks, and we're going to continue to check it. If I find something else, I definitely will turn on the camera and show you guys again. It's just late tonight, and I don't want to get into it. So there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on my next video.